This is my favorite time of the year to fix the lawn. Back to full strength, baby. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And before we get core crazy, if you're feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. Summer really takes its toll on a cool season lawn, and luckily the best time to bring it back to life is in the fall. Cooler temperatures arrive, rain returns, and weeds take a back seat. Plus, the lawn will start pushing those roots deep down right before winter. Let's give those roots a fighting chance with some good old aeration. This is an aerator. It pulls cores out of your lawn about the size of a finger, maybe a couple knuckles long. With all those open holes in your lawn, it allows air, water, nutrients to get down to the roots. It gives roots room to expand, and all those open holes create the perfect seed bed for our overseeding later on. I actually have a weird fascination with renting these things. Check out the commercial Honda engine on this guy. And you can usually grab one for about 50 to $80, and if you split it with a couple of neighbors, the cost is dirt, dirt cheap. You're probably gonna need a neighbor too because these suckers are heavy. This lever right here drops those tines down into the soil, and this lever up here is your go lever. Pull that back and away you go. This aerator moves pretty well considering its weight, but steering it is a huge pain in the neck. Turning these things sucks. So I always recommend straight paths with these things. To turn this baby around, what you're gonna do is stop it before you get to some concrete, pull up on the lever to bring the tines up. You're gonna make your turn. You're gonna reset your tines back down, pull your lever and away you go. It's also a great idea before you get started to grab some work gloves because your hands are gonna be wrestling with these handlebars for the next hour or two. And it's also a good idea to get some ear protection. And let's not forget a good set of shoes that cover your toes. Now before you use this aerator, you're going to want to go ahead and mow your lawn down as low as you can comfortably go with it. If you're going to be putting some grass seed down, you're going to want some extended time for that seed to germinate. And you can give yourself a head start by mowing low. So here's one thing probably some YouTubers aren't telling you. This is a lot of work. That machine will beat you up. Don't worry, you'll come out with a W at the end and your lawn will thank you. Typically when I aerate, I'll usually go north, south, east, west. That's gonna help create a lot of holes in the lawn. When I get to areas like my parkways here, these are really long, so instead of going north, south, east, west here, that would be a lot of work with that machine because it's so hard to turn. All I do is just go straight up and down, but I make a lot of extra passes. Time out. If you appreciate tips like these, would you mind taking a super quick second to smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm? Thanks. All right, so let's go take a look at what these cores look like. Go, yeah. here's some good ones. These are a couple knuckles long. If you can get down to that two to four range, that's excellent. You can see that this core is already starting to break apart. They start to crumble pretty fast and within about two, three days, they're gone, completely gone. So if you're worrying about all these cores, don't worry, they disappear pretty fast. And I'm gonna just simply leaf flow them back into the grass. Here's some more good ones. Take a look at these. Plenty of them all through here. Plenty of holes. Look at all these guys. Wow. Holes everywhere, cores everywhere. We did all right. Now is the perfect time to overseed the lawn and fill in any bare areas. Fall is the absolute best time to get seed down for a cool season lawn. I really like this Jonathan Green Black Beauty Ultra Grass Seed. It has a nice mix of turf type tall fescue, Kentucky Blue, and perennial rye that come up dark and fast, generally sprouting within five days. This is my main seeding time of the year, so I throw it down heavy. I'll have this seed link down below in the description. 
Fertilizing a cool season lawn right after you aerate and overseed is also a great idea. I really like this starter fertilizer by Greenview. The NPK rating is 10 18 10. It delivers just the right amount of nitrogen to kickstart some top growth without the insane overgrowth. That way you're not having to mow every two days. It's got a good shot of phosphorus to push down some roots, and that's exactly what our focus is right now before winter. Lastly, it has some good potassium to strengthen the lawn overall. I'll have this starter fertilizer as well as some links to my lawn fertilizing program linked down below in the description too. I like to quickly spray for weeds. Now's a good time to start knocking those weeds back so the lawn can do its thing. Spray it right on top of everything else. Don't worry, it won't hurt a thing. Last but not least, get your sprinklers out and water. Every day it doesn't rain, get it wet and keep it wet. Let's check back in a few short weeks to see the results. This lawn looks absolutely outstanding. I love it when hard work pays off. I'm loving this. This is my favorite time of the year to fix the lawn. Back to full strength, baby. Now it's been two weeks since the aeration, the overseeding, and the fertilizing. And I guess I couldn't have timed it out much better because earlier this week, we had two inches of rain come down over five days. It has poured and poured and poured. July was a drought. August was pretty much a drought. And now the lawn is actually drunk on rainwater. I mean, come on, come on, look at this grass. Bear spots are filling in nicely. The lawn's actually a lot softer right now. Thicker, healthier, greener. Check this out. So much rain that this ornamental grass is just hanging over everywhere. Normally this thing stands nice and upright, but two inches of water on this sucker Holy cow! This mountain ash right here absolutely annihilates this small little patch of grass every single summer, sucking up all the moisture. So as I normally do, I dump some grass seed nice and heavy all in here, and then loaded it up with some peat moss, and it's coming right back. I think that this is the last of the cores right here, and it's definitely not dog poop. You come here, Ginger. How are you, buddy? All right. All right, the queen of the neighborhood. Yep, that fertilizer's definitely kicking in. Look at this, nice and thick over here. Here's the neighbor's side. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta do some edging. That's way out of control, far more than it's been in a long time. It is most certainly time to give this lawn a mow and it is going to be a much needed double cut. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.